what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode we are intercepting a French force that has attempted to inv invade our holdings in South America and actually it's only just dawned on me just how good this general actually is. Might be one worth keeping alive. But we are against a suitably good Russian general. Actually my guy just about is, is slightly better than him so it would be useful to try and kill him and his very depleted army. So let's take them out. Got a few episode, well, a few battles to fight this turn because we've got uh, Serbia to bring under heel as well as uh, Istanbul to capture because now it is with well, the garrison has been destroyed but that's probably something that will happen next turn when we've got some cash to be able to actually act on these things and we've also got invasions in Sweden to uh, to manage as well so let's make sure we don't bite off more than we can chew so my guns can sit back here up on the high-ish yeah, it's a bit bad actually you men stay back let's take my troops here we are going to push the enemy is depleted we might be more depleted but we can manage it easier than they can my native auxiliaries are going to push up the hill. So this is going to be a little separate brigade. My light infantry are going to screen the left flank. Mr. Frank Furter in the center. My native cavalry is going to be held back. You are actually going to stay back in general because you're quite depleted. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of enemy completion here and I can hear uh, charges going off already but if it's that unit of hussars there's only 30 of them so what I might try and do is haul my guns up to here and then my native troops can secure the hill yeah like even if they well when they charge us it's not gonna really matter the 142nd will form square but he first got a good volley. They will charge. Are they going to try and get to our guns? Maybe. No, they're going to be drawn into our square fight. Although they are going for my gunners. Interesting. Oh, well, might lose some guns, but that's okay. Apart from that. Yeah, see, so the new men run. Attack as a blocking force for the third light hussars. We lost. Didn't lose any gun teams. Form square. Ah, the rains have begun. Third light horse going to charge in. Let's bring my native cavalry over. I mean, if they try and charge into the rear of some of my units, that's still not going to be a huge deal. Limited numbers of hussars are not super useful. Light cavalry. So my guys will be able to do quite a good job finishing them off. I didn't push up my light infantry. They can secure the ruins. Fundamentally, when this cavalry unit is defeated, or two, actually, you can do it now. Everyone who my cavalry isn't attacking advance with all of the aggression you can muster. My native troops also push. There goes the Hussars, and they're actually stuck in and amongst my units, so we can do more damage. Yeah, might have sounds back for a moment. Actually, let's bring my light infantry forward. Bring my cavalry forward. Because in general, we are beginning to engage. Yeah. 60th are upset. 
So these are Fusiliers. Potent troops in their own right, but they are going to get swarmed. And we're not going to be looking to pursue really with our cavalry. We just want to defeat them. Look at these militia. Only just in range. Actually, no, it's the 25th that are in range. Ready, General's bodyguards. Advancing into the danger zone, he might get hit by some stray musketry. Getting some sounds. He might be going for my cavalry. Advance my right flank forward. We have skirmish. We have a militia to watch out for, but they're not going to do a huge amount of damage. My guns still aren't in position. Mr. Frankfurter can push up to support the line. But in general, I think we see how uh, things are emerging. My bowmen. Should I keep you going? Yeah, fire it will off. Fire it will on. Engage the general's bodyguard if you can load. There you go. Fire. Ooh, good hit. Okay, let's keep. Keep my flank pushing. Keep the native warriors ready to form. The Mounted Tribal Auxiliary are probably, it looks like there will be enough to defeat this General's Bodyguard unit. Keep attacking. The General is in, there he is. Get him! No, the, don't let him get away! He is going to be one of two men to escape. Meanwhile, these poor unfortunates. 10th Regiment of Foot, 47th, the 8th, 22nd, the 9th, the 29th, 47th. Bowmen are engaging the militia on the flank. He's poor, oh, he's poor man. Poor, poor men. <laughs> so we could be on to try and pursue and destroy, but we've got a lot of battles to fight this turn. Let's consider it a victory. Move on our way. We will, if we can, we'll pursue and destroy any troops that remain. Although they may, they've been defeated. So Mr. Frankfurter, replenish your men. Open. This sloop can go back to Curacao. Good, you're all formed up. At some point we deal with Nassau, but not yet. The main thing is we've got... You're holding your ground, deliberately so. I want to try and draw as many Swedish troops into Christiana as possible before I attack. You are going to raid Linkoping see if you can draw out any of their forces for an open pitched battle yes, you because you don't have the money to do it now we're going to siege Finland yeah I'm I'm trying to get better at not going too crazy in certain aspects because for example I can't actually control Belgrade I'd like to take hold of Istanbul but I think that actually in reflection that might it might get us a turn further down the road of rebellion that I want. You're going to stay here in case, because you can't reach them yet this turn. But you're in within range to defend Athens if that happens. If they go for the capital. Go for the city, rather. 53,000. Very limited trade partners. Ultimately, we're at war with, we're just at war with a lot of people. 
we can mop up those Mughal troops. This army may reinforce and go for Sweden. Separation of powers, wealth of nations for selective breeding. No way. The techs I'm, I'd be giving them are much more worthwhile. Aha. And it is the Ottomans. So let's check out... Well, first of all... Yeah. Now they're back on form. For a minute there I thought they'd actually get over uh, their turn-ending shenanigans. Actually, that's pretty quick. They may... I'm just going to auto that. Because... Hardly anyone about, but we may be about to get immediately counterattacked because there's a couple of Ottoman stacks right there. Ooh, Garrison of Belgrade are sallying. We will defend. Let's get ready to withstand and destroy them. But yeah, we we got 50, 50 or thousand, and that's a lot of money. But we've also got a lot of economic upgrades that we can do within our territory because we've now got a steam engine. But we have plenty of territories to uh, repair and replenish and reinforce. So this army currently has no actual commanders in it. Not that that's really a problem. Uh, we have advanced firing drills and quite a decent army actually. I'm not going to deploy all of my men up front either. We may, we are incredibly unlikely to need all of them. Good. Come at us, Ottomans. Oh yeah, mortars. I always, I don't know why, always, I'm always surprised by the presence of enemy mortars in siege city battles. Take the fight to them. It shouldn't really be a surprise, I should have checked. But I think I just looked at all of the size of the infantry units and just went, eh, they're not going to be a problem. Which they aren't going to be, to be honest. Now, they, now they're charging. Form square. Go on then, my militia fancy a scrap. You might be armoured cavalry, but you're still depleted armoured cavalry. There we go, everyone else form up. So, oh, so Sipahi, really good units, very dangerous. But when there's only 25 of them, even my militia should fancy their odds. Although, actually, they do not like it. Front square, you men can't charge the armed populace. Carcass shot coming in. Excellent, so you men form up to engage the unit of Semini. There's only eight Sipahi left. If they charge my militia, they might break. See, now they're confident. These fellows are very much not going to be confident, not with the Okay, go on, go for the horsemen there. Send my line infantry in, because it looks like they want to kind of run around. Semini are upset. Horsemen are upset. Lanvair militia. Push in. Take out the artillery. Choose my line to just run around like so. Because one militia unit's more than enough to deal with them. You men form the line. All of my guns engage that skirmish cavalry unit. 
It's not they're wavering. You're not even near them. Beautiful. Yeah, we're not overly bothered about losses to this army. They're currently behind the main battle line. They might be useful reinforcement later on, but for now. Yep, yeah, there they go. <laughs> nice. But the Ottoman power is being severely degraded. They're losing their hold on Europe. Um, but we need to block off the Dardanelles. I believe it's the Dardanelles. Stretch of water between Istanbul and, I suppose, would that, would that have been called Asia Minor? But it looks like they might be... Ooh. Have they given up trying to steal our advanced technologies? The Enlightenment of Bavarian Science. Hmm, not too bad. Okay, there's a big Russian stack. The Russian Navy's doing stuff, which I don't really I'm not that bothered about. Ooh, ooh, large, large push. Large push through towards Transylvania. Interesting. And they are reinforcing it, it would appear. That's what I was hoping to see. A Swedish sally to intercept our force on the way to cap the capital. So we can... Slaughter them. Slaughter them with artillery fire in the open fields. Push them back. Force them to draw their other armies into the city. For protection. And then we can lay siege the to them and tidy things up like that. Rain. Form the guns up. So we've got the Lieb Regiment, which are brand new. They look pretty good. And our Grenadier Lieb Regiment, which also look pretty good. So let's get you men plus two units of infantry formed up in our centre. Set up another artillery unit on the right flank. Mercenaries and infantry. Plus grenadiers. Can we keep the grenadiers together? Although I have just stolen all of the infantry. Okay, you go there. Line infantry guards hold the ground. For the bulk of the cavalry on this flank. Mahonzolan on the right. I mean, I've got oodles of howitzer fire. It's going to be excellent. 32 pounder heavy horse artillery. Go for those horse guards. You men go for the ninth foot guards. With oh, a quick line, actually, that impacts things somewhat. Good hit there on the horse guards. Looks like they have massed, so we can take our extended right flank and pivot. So let's unlimber the 24 pounders. We'll drag them forward. So this detachment can threaten their left flank. A lot of enemy cavalry on the left. 10th Horse Guards, 9th Regiment of Dragoons. Line Infantry Guards, get ready. My Horse Grenadier... Horse, uh, horse Grenadier Guards on foot. I have little choice but to push. My Line Infantry Guards form square to hold. Let's make sure... Oh, a lot of enemy cavalry use my howitzers to soften up their foot infantry units. Line infantry guards need to get stuck in. It's the new man form a square, although it looks like... Okay, Hohenzollern actually need to get over here. OK, 
Okay, don't form no, don't form square. Push in. Lancers, heavy cavalry, maybe form square. If you can draw the third horse guards into the fight, that would be excellent. My right flank push was very optimistic. Maybe more like here. Push you men up. Drag this unit of guns up nice and close. Line infantry guards form square again. Okay, two units against one Hussar unit. That's pretty good. I can use the 28th foot guards in square to retreat the third horse guards as much as I possibly can until my 20th horse guards are over. Here comes some good quick climb hits. Okay, 51st. Well, Western European mercenaries look pretty darn sharp. Except for that fellow whose musket didn't fire, he can be on a charge. Howitzers retarget because we're a bit close. Okay, my right flank get a lot more aggressive. Part of the challenge here is that this rain just makes my own management of infantry worse. You chaps form cannot fire canister at the ninth foot guards. You men form square again. My heavy cavalry engage the fourth regiment. Keep attacking the 12th light horse. 29th are going to trip the 14th horse guards. Some more lovely canister shot. Yeah, it becomes quite challenging to see what's going on. Okay, you men charge here. Pour troops into the center. You're going to go for the guns. You men push from the rear. Get my general over to support this fight here. So we're engaging enemy skirmishes at point blank range, where I'm hoping our volume of fire really does the work. Seventh foot guards are shattered. So we need to be really quite careful how we engage. You may get out of square and attack the enemy cavalry. You men can get out of square and begin engaging like regular infantry. This infantry unit forms square. We've managed to break the enemy charge. There we go. The fifth light hussars have hit our square formation. 43rd going to break fairly quickly because that's a lot of infantry deploying to fire into their rear. These grenadiers form square. Ah, okay, the guards heavy cavalry charged in here. Hohenzollern engage the foot infantry unit. Artillery cease fire. My weakened cavalry units go after enemy retreating units such as these marines. I believe their general was in this 5th Light Hussars unit, who are shattered. I suppose my general, he's nearby. Good, he can go for the 15th regiment of foot. I believe. Ah, uh, no, not everyone. Ceasefire. Heavy cavalry, keep engaging. The 6th regiment, there we go, they're shattered. So my losses here were worse than I would like, but still not devastating, so let's... Okay, let's try and make sure we kill the 9th foot guards. Come on, keep on killing them. So 
So now I get sound right at the end of the battle. Irony. Eight men left. Down to two. Down to one. Excellent. So go after the 6th Regiment, because you should be enough to knock out these 9 Marines. Keep on charging. There's 3 left. Good, you got them. You also go after that unit. Send my General after the 43rd, but I don't think it's going to matter. get them. Third Lancers. It's a handful. Yes. Nice. Decisive victory. That's always what we want to see. Oh, 2,134 kills. 210 men remaining. I was hoping they would mass on uh, Stockholm, that's what I want to see. Bottle them up so I can put them to siege, recover, and consolidate my territory in other theatres. So, got a raid there. Okay, so. So, 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 you men. Put Christiana under siege. We could attack it, but I need to focus on other areas first. So, you men replenish. Drop down a cheeky steam engine factory. Got a lot of Russians coming through here, so if you chaps get ready. Taken Belgrade. But. So you're minus four if I pull that army out. But if I pull both of these militia units out of Sarajevo. Minus two. Which will become minus one next turn, so we'll recruit a gendarmerie and run them across to help to prevent them from getting up to too much mischief. You men occupy the town and hold. The idea is I can free this army up to fortify the town. Well, fortify to reinforce the front, I should say. This agent's going to go up towards Crimea, just get close. Sophia's ripe for the capture. We've got Istanbul, which I fear is going to rebel regardless. So let's try and build a coaching in. Let's try and build a church school. And let's leave one of the territories unbuilt in so far. Keep going. For the economy upgrades because we just need them across the board. I have not forgotten that fight that needs to happen. Near Athens. I'm trying to get some good economy upgrades booked in before I forget. Repair the governor's residence in Belgrade. That'll really help. I mean, we need to build lots of church schools to counteract the foreign influence here. Because, yeah, seven religious unrest is a lot. I bet Istanbul's got a lot of foreign resistance. Resistance to religious unrest. Religious unrest, which contributes to negative public order. So they're minus 14. If I exempt them from tax, it goes to minus 12. God, they are really bankrupt. We don't want to ease up. Uh, you men... Attack and destroy those small number of troops there. Get these men back into Jerusalem. Mr. Guthman, cover the west. The army in Damascus is at full strength, but we need to do some repairs. Good. Finland is sieged. Also need to make sure we re re reinforce this army. Push forward a little bit more. I'm hoping these guys either attack me or fall back. You are responding to this raid here, which is quite positive. New town emerges in West Prussia. Cannot take advantage of it. Oh, I can actually. I can do that. Mr. Heinemann, 
your army is reinforced, but now let's take Mr. Lightner and attack this Ottoman force that has landed off the coast of Athens. And let's attack and destroy them. But then, yeah, things are... Yeah, this is going pretty well. Doing some good damage. And... Well, we're going to break the Ottoman power in Europe. And we're going to need to deploy a reasonable fighting force towards Ankara. Or get ready to fight a series of attritional battles. To wear them down. I'm going to utilise my superiority in artillery. Mercilessly. Two units of heavy horse artillery, which are just... This is an army made to wreck house. Let's fortify you the front, you the front. All of my elites are on the left, largely. My Jaeger are going to deploy ahead of the guns. My guns are going to deploy fire at will off. Keep my missile cavalry all together. General's going to get a good position on this little hill. Got some engineers in reserve. Actually, they too can do what the uh, Jaeger are going to do. Play stakes. Okay, they've extended further out on the right flank. I mean, we've attacked them, but we've got all the guns, so they can elect to stay where they where they are for now if they want to. That's my Jaeger. Deployed stakes deployed. Actually, I wonder. This might be a good position for my Jaeger. go. Burn powder as you see fit, gunners. Didn't lose any engineers. They're bomb all bombarding this giant musketeer unit. It's right in front of them. Probably want to focus my artillery fire on the cavalry to the rear, and they know it. <laughs> Maybe let's bring my engineers over onto this flank as well. But yeah, my skirmishers could get some kills as in enemy infantry cross in front of my battle line. Artillery inbound. See, so he has eight cavalrymen, one volley. General's fallen back. You men go for the camel gunners. You men keep going for the mamelukes. But yeah, technically we are on the offensive, but we are forcing them to respond to our artillery fire by advancing. Let's run my engineers over to the right flank, because the quicker they're in position, the sooner they can have a rest. You're not firing, it's unfortunate. Ooh. This is what happens when you attack Bavaria, Ottoman Empire. This is what happens when you try and take back your lands. We won't let you. We're just lucky we don't have quicklime. Here they come, though. They know this is untenable. But if I had shrapnel shot, that'd be perfect. 
engage the horsemen that are advancing right at you. Oh, exceptional shots there. The rest of you fire canister shot. Yeah, defeated by the musketry. Fine example you're setting for your men. Excellent. Those are just janissaries. Let's bring my skirmish cavalry out on the flank. Oh, they're coming back. They let me fire my volley. With musketry. Oh, you can actually see the, the musket balls flying in. Pretty neat. You fired your volley of bow fire at my gunners, no less. Cavalry charge in and destroy them. Infantry push the flank. Yeah, my cavalry should mop up these janissaries pretty quick. killing them a little bit just to make sure they're upset advance don't fire at will yet lest we commit too much fratricide gauge musketeers got some musketeers there that have already broken cavalry fire at will run some cavalry in to intercept some of these routing troops. Nizam infantry, they're pushing. Char try charge the guards, see what happens. Your Armenian archers do not care about you. These men are my elite, so we're going to need to charge the Nizam. They're engaging at point blank range. We can't really afford to leave them alone. Okay, pivot, pivot, pivot. Advance, advance, advance. Be careful of the stakes. Yeah, that unit of army archers is broken. Now attack that unit. Actually, don't make run my general directly through. You fellows, don't charge on the back of those Janissary Musketeers. The Royal Janissary Guards have been killed. So let's run you guys through the line. The Muslim aren't a valuable target. charge you guys in to kill the Janissary Musketeers because those are light cavalry. So let's try pull them out. In general, actually my general can go for the Janissary Musketeers. There we go. They're being slaughtered mercilessly.
Eh, yeah, my Dragoons can glare off against Chevrolet Leger. My Gunners switch to round shot, bombard the Mamelukes to the rear. Keep on attacking the Janissary Musketeers. Actually, you guys just march on. Yeah, my Chevrolet Leger are losing to the Mamelukes. For now. Excellent. Doing some real good work here. Okay, now you chaps. Come across, you men form up. Yeah, because unsurprisingly. Now my artillery is pounding that combat, that could be disastrous. Yeah, there's more more of their cavalry than mine. Freikol cavalry hit the Armenian archers, who immediately rout. Well not rout, but withdraw. Charge the Mamelukes, but beware of the stakes. Good. It's these Armenian archers. I don't get him. I don't get him. Okay, you guys push on and attack these five units of grenadiers while you men can go after the Janissaries, the um, Armenian archers. Get this cavalry through the gap. Come on, there's three Janissary grenadiers. Attack the Israeli. Come on. Oh, you guys should knock out those archers. Yes, you will. So it's all down to these Israeli who look like. Yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. We lost 460 men, they lost 2,992. So then the remaining forces can be destroyed in an auto resolve. So, Mr. Leitner, reinforce. Good. And let's spend the rest. Actually, we need to go over to the Americas, don't we? Because we need to take you, good sir. Make sure you're reinforcing because I might actually push you towards Nassau then maybe St Augustine because it's fortified we could build a bit of a base here ready for future operations we've also got some good economy upgrades ports are good ah, brand new ports are better Yeah, there's a lot of we got a lot of money that can be spent that's something important to bear in mind money can be spent everywhere we need every every single penny of it but apart from that things are looking pretty good one thing i may do because russia is pushing down here i may take mr tauber And advance him up towards Yagava to see if we can draw off any Russian stacks from down south. It remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. Again, Poland with the technology. Nope. They're offering us not very useful technology for very valuable technology, and I am not interested.
Oh, ooh, are you going to sail somewhere? Hmm. I have to wonder if taking Istanbul will make the Ottoman interns better or worse. If they're so bankrupt, they may actually end up... Oh yeah, you're definitely going to sail somewhere. Or maybe not. Yeah, there they go. You're going to go to Jerusalem. Ah, Istanbul it is. And we have to fight to defend it. So let's do this. They have no artillery. While we have some excellent artillery, this will be a force which will be obliterated. So the army in Greece will be replenished and the army from Istanbul will also... Eh, or will it? They may push to Crimea actually to open up another front against Russia. Yeah, they have no artillery. Some of our troops are depleted, but in the grand scheme it's not going to matter a huge amount. I mean, it's frustrating because these stakes are really useful to have, but they only really matter when the enemy has a breach. Could create one, but... I create one as a last resort try not to do it off the bat. Because also their units are pretty... Oh, we got engineers can play out mines. That's pretty neat. But yeah, between these two artillery batteries, we're going to be... There's a lot of damage is going to be done. Who else have we got? Okay. Redeploy. So the guns just stay where they are. Yeah, I might just scatter more infantry on the walls. We're not going to need it inside the city unless they take a gatehouse. I suppose that would could be a smart thing is to do this. If they can't get in through any of the gates, they can't blow their way in, rather, then that's the only way they can get in, and at least that will nullify their cavalry. Yeah, it's a good idea. Cool. You men deploy, you men deploy. Oh, someone's in range. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, okay, right. Here we go. Quick climb is going to come slamming into these two units. Excellent, excellent aim. Okay, you try... You can start dropping shots here. My heavy horse unit. Go after Janissary Grenadiers. Ultimately, once these guys are repelled, their cavalry doesn't have a way to get in, so... You're engaging these guys at long range. I'm hoping the area of effect of Quick Climb will do damage here. Oh, the standard. He wasn't having it at first. Yeah, Armenian archers. Janus Street Grenadiers. This is a bit of a desperation move. Royal Car Infantry Guards. Yeah, they're pretty good. But again, attacking a city is difficult. Let's get you guys up on the wall as well. Just in case. I mean, that unit's going to absolutely rout. <laughs> they're shattered. Shells in the air, here they come. Oh god damn. <laughs> what down to ten men in that janissary grenade unit? His archers are down to fifty. Yeah, they've both had enough too. And the, the area effect of quick climb is working. 
to be honest this howitzer unit can also you can start to work on this raw Cairo infantry guard unit because these units are too close Zars is just I mean, if you push too far I'll just push out and kill you with my cavalry actually I might just do that now because they're already upset and I've got my grenadiers right here are just desperate to meet you guys oh no come back inside Semi have routed before anything's even happened. Those grenadiers are broken. Ah, there's more of their troops. Oh, God. Okay, 32 pounders. Go. Just pick a unit and destroy them. That's where we're at. Yeah, routed, routed. Royal Car Infantry Guards have stuck around, but two units here ready to withstand such a manoeuvre. Yeah, you might say you're confident, but that might be a bit of a foolish manoeuvre. Slamming home into these guys even more. Okay, you men engage as well. So they appear to be gaining a small foothold. Kurdish Hillmen still fancy their chances. Quick Climbs pushed one unit back. I may as well keep using my howitzers to focus on the units that are further away from the walls. It's a bit safer. Okay, Grenadiers. This is your time. Kurdish Hillmen are stealth. All the Cairo infantry guards are on the wall now. Keep killing them. Okay, let's send these two depleted units to this section of the wall to fire at will on the enemy. My grenadiers cover the actual section here. Quick align. God damn. So sending up 44 Nizam to scale the wall. Some excellent artillery from the walls here. They will not long withstand this manoeuvre. Let's keep quick line targeting things more suitable. Grenadiers will go after the Nizam, make short work of them. I would love it if the Armenian archers tried. All my quick climb focus on trying to attack the cavalry out there. This is just so beautiful. Mm. 
happen is if these Armenian archers have a shot either. They're way too soft. Quick lines hammering these guys too. Beautiful. How it says focus fire on the Semini. Yeah, see they're already breaking. that semi units routed which they should do after a reasonable amount of quickline fire focusing on them yeah there they go okay let's speed up time because it should only be a matter of time yep they've routed so now it's just their cavalry oh no those hillmen are somewhere aren't they okay right Send out the cavalry. I saw one unit route over here, but there is Kurdish hillmen still about. Although it looks like it's just this camel unit out and about. So it's, we switched around shot. We should fire a bit faster. Start the bombardment. They may break almost immediately due to the forces arrayed against them. not take very long for these camel nomads to decide sticking around is not in their best interests, especially if I actually hit some shots. Yeah, they're out of range of quick climb. Yeah, not for one of the units. You can try. Oh, actually, that might be that might be proof that they are out of range. But yeah, let's just do this easy. Friendly units nearby. So are your Kurds here? Aha! Kurds! Get them! That'll be why they didn't want to rout. As far as the game was concerned. Yeah, there we go. As far as the game was concerned, they still had an infantry unit that could scale the wall. Therefore, the game wasn't over. Although... Maybe they might have someone else hidden. Don't do this to me. Cavalry. I'm not going to bring my general into the mix. They should... route. Yeah, all my artillery is out of range. I know it's light cavalry, so it's potentially a bit disastrous, but yeah, it's faster than using infantry to do it. Ceasefire. And Prushnik horse, Prushenk horse aren't anything to be sniffed at. I think they want to rout, so charge! Shaken, steady. I mean, if they route my cavalry, they they do. There we go. Oh, and they've got some hidden units over here that have decided to route as well. Awesome. That's what you get, Ottomans. Back off. One seven. Hmm, interesting numbers. Back across the strait you go. And there's more where that came from. Grr. Well, they're back to stealing my technology. But I do suppose they they are aware that the end is nigh. They need to buy passage. Buy favour. You can raid those ports as much as you like. Let's see if Russia redeploys some of her troops now that some of her northern territories are exposed, which she is. They are concerned. Interesting. <laughs> there we go, they've almost entirely pulled out. 
Right, they, okay, that's frustrating. They might be witnessing the gap behind our lines. But we are going to want to fight this. Looking at the timer, though, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.